been Hamizan of Malaysia, 25 year old. Wow. Really done the 353 this season. Puriman Hole of Indonesia. Ran in the 800, failed to medal. 24 year old goes in lane two. Yeah. Dong Van Tai, twice a gold medalist in this event, goes in lane three. Bryn Neri of the Philippines goes in lane four. One, zero, Alongside him from Cambodia, King Samon. Uh, go in uh, lane five. Bello. Manuel Bello Amaral Atayd. 16 year old from Timor Leste goes in six. Silver medalist in 2011 and 2015 from the Philippines. Marvin Guarte goes in seven. One, seven, Alongside him is the bronze medalist from the 800 meter, Malaysia's Royson Vincent. Two, seven, two. Bronze medalist from this Yotin event Yaprajan. in 2015. Yotin Yaprajan goes in nine for Thailand and going in two, lane seven, ten five. from Vietnam. Do Kok Luat, 24 year old, going in the outside lane. Final preparations. So getting away without much incident, the two Philippines runners look to push themselves to the front in the early stages, Elbrun Neri and Mervyn Guarte. Just find themselves sitting one and two. It's uh, Norman Neri who's uh, leading, you know, just coming up the shoulder of uh, Guardia, who's happy to sit back a little. A couple of athletes, including Dong Bantai, the 25-year-old gold medalist from the 800 meter, just tucks himself into second position. Well, Norman Guardia fights back for third position overall in the early stages. A little bit of jostling going on. Yotin Yaprajan of Thailand also getting involved. Ahmad Lutbin Hamizan of Malaysia, 353.33 in Baku back in May. Finds himself just uh, trying to chase the leading pack, but it's uh, Vietnam who have the early lead. Do Quoc Luat, the 24-year-old, 357.73 at the Thai Open a couple of months ago. So a man who's well below the four-minute mark, the world record, of course, currently at uh, 3.28. But these athletes will be looking to go around 3.45, you would imagine. And perhaps just a, a little over either way it's about winning the gold medal not so much about the times unless you genuinely are going for a world record so the defending champion and the 800 meter gold medalist looking very good at the moment Duong Phan Thai who managed to win the 800 meter as far back as 2011 on the last two 1500 meter events Duong Van Dai although in quite fortuitous fashion four years ago some would argue again it's still Dong Guag Luat not letting anybody take over the pace you can see the athletes just bunching up all in a group so nobody's fallen off the back which suggests how slow this pace is you'll see somebody will try to push the pace I think we might see it here with Yotin Yaprajan, the 25-year-old Thai going on the outside. His 355-61 also at the Thai Open. He did eat it with Duong Van Thai at the Thai Open with that 355-61. Not the first time that Duong Van Thai has actually dead heated in the race because he dead heated for the gold with Jirai Ridwan of Malaysia in the 2013 race. 30 3 minute 5802 in what was also very much a tactical battle. For Duong Van Thai in a position to launch something Ahmad Luk bin Hamizan of Malaysia finds himself now tucked in second behind Yotin Yaprajan looking to improve on his bronze medal from 2015 
But Dong Van Tai will still have something to say about this in the final 400 meters. Almost certainly bringing up the rear, but not too far behind is Royce and Vincent, the 800 meter bronze medalist of Malaysia. And at the moment, it is a very good opportunity for the Vietnamese athletes. Duong Phan Thai to make a move. He's starting to go on the outside now and just pushes himself up to second. The two Philippines athletes, both Elbrin Neri and indeed Mervyn Guarte, look to push into medal contention here. Mervyn Guarte, silver medalist at the 2011 and 2015 SEA Games in this event, is chasing over the shoulder of the man who's won the last two gold medals on offer in this event. If they finish the way they are, they'll be the three medalists from the last SEA Games but Duarte might not be getting the silver here. Yoti Nyabrajan might get it. No doubt about who's going to win. A final lap most impressively run by the Vietnamese star Duong Van Thai, who completes the 800 meter, 1,500 meter double in very impressive fashion. It's his third consecutive gold medal in the men's 1,500 meter. But just really pulling the pedal down in the final 400 meters. Drilling his advantage home. He ran a very tactical race. It was a slow race. The way the athletes were bunching at the very start. And they were near the record of 3.45. A 3.51 good enough for the gold medal. And first to come over and congratulate his compatriot is Do Kwok Luat. Who can take a great deal of credit for how this race was tactically run. He slowed down the race for the first handful of laps. And then allowed Duong Van Tai to come into his own with that speedy finish. The last 400 meters most impressively run. Quarte and uh, Yotin Yaprajan fighting it out to the very line for the silver medal here. But just the way he ran that last 150 meters, it was virtually a sprint. Pulled away from all the other athletes, Yotin Yaprajan giving everything to try to guarantee himself that silver medal in the end a convincing victory for the Vietnamese runner Duong Phan Thai 2013 gold 2015 gold 2017 gold in the men's 1500 meter and Vietnam extend their advantage atop the athletics leaderboard what a championship Vietnam is having. Well, Yaprajan, a very impressive effort to just hold on and claim second place overall with Mervyn Duarte putting an inordinate amount of pressure on him. And Duarte of the Philippines. Duarte of the Philippines claiming the Bronze medal. Well, yeah, Prajan. He's just, he's not collapsed, but he's just using the opportunity to uh, lie on his back. There's the bronze medalist. Well, that's the bronze medalist teammate, Neri. Guarte. 204. 